Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brownie, and yes I know I'm making a video with my camera facing on the computer screen, but you know, sometimes we gotta make sacrifices when we're gonna be making videos like this. So anyways, that's not the point. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about horsepower and torque. What's it gotta do with the automobile? Well, actually, let's just be honest. If you're not making any power nor torque, your car is not moving unless you have the handbrake off and you're going downhill. Anyways, let's begin. And I'm actually doing this in Forza Horizon 3. Yeah, I know, it's very sad, but there's a magical graph that's being uh, shown to you in just a little bit, and then we'll show you what is this horsepower and torque um, phenomena thing. And also, as you can see, I'm working on a Ford Focus ST, which is being dressed up as a Ford Focus RS. I already shoved a 300 hor 350 horsepower, actually, with 359 pound-feet of torque, and I already shoved in an all-wheel drive system. Now this is the magical chart that we're looking at. This right here is called the dino chart. And dino, like dinosaur, but it actually it's not really spelled as dinosaur uh, spelling. But anyway, that's not the point. This right here is called the dino chart. And this will calculate your horsepower and your torque. Your torque is drawn in blue, and your horsepower is drawn in red. On the x-axis, it will calculate your RPMs, which is basically your revolutions per minute. In other words, revolutions per minute is the amount of rotations uh, a device rotating on a fixed axis in one minute. And on the, on the y-axis, this will calculate your horsepower and torque. That's why these two lines are here. Now if I move my D-pad up, up a notch, uh, I'll show you all my basic specs on my car. And currently, uh, we're going to be focusing on these two right here. We're going to be focusing on the power and the torque. So my car is powering 350 horsepower with 359 pound-feet of torque. So let's say all of us viewers who are watching this video are going to be having a car with 350 horsepower with 359 pound-feet of torque. So let's say we have that amount of power in our cars right now. So is our car really making that amount of power and torque? The answer to that is a plain and simple yes and no. And you're going to be saying, why is it a yes and no? Well, it's simple. The reason why I'm saying this is because, number one, the reason why I'm saying yes is because it will make 350 horsepower. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, your car will be making that power it says it's supposed to do according to the dyno chart. But the reason why I'm saying no is because it only happens at a certain RPM. Now, Let's ignore this. Um, let's ignore the blue blue line real quick uh, and focus on the red one real quick. So, when you're at idle, which is around 1,000 RPMs, uh, it will s say that it was going to be making this amount of power and stuff like that. Uh, fair enough. And uh, as you as you step on the gas, your RPM starts to increase, and when your RPM starts to increase. Uh, your horsepower starts to increase until you get to the peak power, which I'll uh, explain into it later on about peak power. So, when you are stepping on the gas, your horsepower starts to increase as your RPMs increase. Now, in graphing the terminology for this, if one thing is going up and the other is following suit, that means this terminology is called direct relationship. If one thing is going if one thing is going up and the other follows suit, it's called a direct relationship. So if your RPMs increase, so does your horsepower until it gets up to the peak power. So now let's move on to the peak power. So as you can see here on on the dyno chart, somewhere around here, so let's say this is like 500 and not 500 but 5,500 uh, RPM so somewhere around there let's say this is like 5,000 RPMs and this is your peak uh, power right here it will only be making 350 horsepower at 5,000 RPMs so basically what I'm trying to say is 350 horsepower right here only happens at a certain RPM same goes with torque, so let's bring this line into play. 
as you can see here, this is your peak torque, which is somewhere around 3,000 3, RPMs. Let's just say it's like around 3,000 RPMs. It will only deliver 359 pound-feet of torque at a certain RPM. So with torque, it only, it ha the peak torque only happens at a lower RPM, and your peak power happens at a higher RPM. And also, uh, when you step on the gas, um, your torque also increases until it reaches to its peak uh, peak torque, which is not very far. So as you go up in the RPM range, it will start to gradually go down. So in this kind of relationship, if if one thing is going up and the other one is going down, that's considered a inverse relationship. So that means if if your RPMs are increasing your torque will start to decrease as you go along the RPM range except your horsepower until it reaches that certain RPM where the peak power is at so um, to put this in simple terms basically the 350 horsepower and 359 pound-feet of torque will only happen at certain RPMs 359 pound-feet of torque will only happen at this amount of RPM so let's say uh, 3000 RPMs it will only deliver that amount of torque at 3000 RPMs and then 350 uh, horsepower will only, be will only be delivered in that certain RPM. So let's say if it's at 6,000 RPMs, you will only be able to get 350 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs. So as you get past that, if you pass 306, uh, if you pass 6,000 RPMs, your horsepower starts to go down and stuff like that. And also, if you're actually looking at this chart right now, you will notice that this thing it's like this. Normally uh, turbocharged cars will have this have this issue and the reason for this is when you step on the gas it takes some time for the turbochargers to spool up before it actually starts making that power that it needs and torque and that is what we call turbo lag. So when you step on the gas it will slowly increase and then when the turbocharger starts to spool up it's gonna shoot up and then and all that shenanigans now you're, you're now you're heads now kicking on the back of the seat and stuff like that so that's what's considered that's what's causing this little who hilly in this little gradual increase up to it until it shoots up that's the turbo lag basically I could be wrong so because I'm I'm actually uh, I'm actually a beginner in doing this one but I'm actually learning and stuff like that so I'm basically giving you what I can actually give you guys so anyways um, 350 horsepower to put in simple terms 350 horsepower and 359 pound-feet of torque, that power and torque will only be, be delivered at that certain RPM. So anyways, that is all guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you guys like the video, please give me the thumbs up right there. But if you don't like it, please be honest and hit the thumbs down button. Uh, either that, I really appreciate your feedback. And if you think this is kind of crap, uh, I'll make some improvements on it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.